Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today I want to do a first impressions on my mini Jody. This is from Bottega Veneta and I did just get this pretty recently. I thought I would share my first impressions as well as what fits and I will also do mod shots later. I'll also try to do some measurements although I'm not sure how successful I will be because this bag is kind of uniquely shaped. It's a little bit like a dumpling and it has a lot of rounded edges so I will do my best to do measurements a little bit later. First thing about this bag is that you can only wear it two ways. You can wear it handheld like this or you can also wear it on the crook of your arm like this. Unfortunately, with the way that the drop is, uh, this would not fit over your shoulder, at least it won't fit over my shoulder. That's probably one slight con about this bag is that the way you can wear this bag is slightly limited. I do love this gorgeous leather weaving that Bottega is known for. This leather is buttery soft. It is such a pleasure to hold and touch and just the tactile sensation of this bag is something I really enjoy a lot. And the leather itself is very, very finely grained. It's not completely smooth. Um, it's probably a little hard to tell on camera right now, especially with the lighting coming in. So I will do my best to insert some more photos. Um, but the leather itself is not completely smooth. However, it feels buttery smooth to the touch. So it just looks like if you look very, very closely, there's um, a little bit of grain in the leather. But when you touch it, it just feels very, very smooth. So um, I really do like that. There is this gorgeous little knotted detail up here, which honestly, this is one of the reasons why I sort of fell in love with this bag. I think this little knot is so chic and it just adds that little extra something to this bag. It's not something you can undo. It's just the way that the leather is. But for some reason, I just really love the way that this particular knot looks. It does have silver hardware here, just along the zipper and then on the zipper pull right here. Some of the colors come with gold. Um, I honestly probably would have preferred if this color came with gold but this color is part of the reason why I want to get this bag. I really wanted something pink. This isn't really like a blush pink. I would say it definitely has a little bit of salmon type pink undertones to it, but I still think this is gonna be a wonderful bag for spring and summer. And I still think at least with my particular wardrobe, I will be able to match this quite a lot. And even just wearing like light colored jeans and a gray top, I think this looks great. It can really dress up a very casual outfit. But at the same time, one great thing about this bag is just because of how feminine it is and how cute it is, I, I think you can also style this with really cute spring and summer dresses so I'm looking forward to doing that hopefully later this year so let's go ahead and open the bag because it is kind of a soft and smushy bag you will probably need to hold the base of the bag with one hand and then zip it or unzip it so you kind of have to like make sure you have a good grip on it here and then those zipper itself is fine there's no issues it's very smooth it's just between the size and the shape of the bag that you do kind of have to secure it before you unzip it and I do have it stuffed right now, so let's take out the stuffing. So the inside is just one little empty space right here, and it is leather lined. And let me quickly show you guys what fits. So here is my long regular size wallet for comparison, and here's the bag again. I'm not quite sure if this will fit. It looks like it might, but perhaps the edges won't because this is like a rectangular shaped and this is more of an oval shape. So let's see here. So it's very, very close. Maybe if I really, really squeeze it in there, I could get that part in, but I'm not going to try. To be honest, there was really no point in carrying a wallet this big in a bag of this size if you can't really take it in and out very easily. So it's an almost, it's a very close fit, but not quite. Here's my mini pochette and let's see if this fits. So it looks like the mini pochette does fit. As you can see, here is what it looks like and you can definitely zip it up. The problem is this sort of takes up the entire space of the bag. So if I were to use this bag, I probably wouldn't carry the mini pochette with me and pack these items in a different way. So when I'm using this bag, the wallet I will most likely use is this one, and this is a compact wallet. This is technically the LV Zippy coin purse, but it's such a great compact wallet size, um, and it will definitely fit in there like that. If you want it to downsize even more, you could just carry a regular flat card holder like right here, and you will have plenty of space for other things. So you can see just how much room there is compared to the flat card holder. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use this because I just have a feeling when I'm out and about with this bag, this is probably going to be the wallet that I use the most frequently. So let's stick that back in here. I'm going to also add my Bastia as well as my key holder and a little hand sanitizer. 
and a pack of tissues. And also my phone. Although to be honest, with a bag of this size and the way that you need to open and close it, I'm most likely gonna just carry my phone in my hand or in my pocket or like in my jacket pocket or something like that. But just wanna show you guys if it does fit with everything else. And it does. And let's see if it closes. Bag does close and everything's in here. In my opinion, the best way to sort of pack this bag would be to use items that are a little bit more rectangular and flat and kind of set them up upright. So sorry, the handle's in the way. So you can see that if you store everything sort of like upright, not only is it easier to find what you're looking for, but you can fit a few more things. And that way you're also not rummaging because there isn't gonna be something that's kind of stuck on the bottom that you can't see. And when it is stuffed with items, it's not heavy at all, just because this is kind of a small bag. I don't really see this bag being a very heavy bag or very uncomfortable to carry. The only thing is that you can't really be hands-free, so um, do keep that in mind. And let's try to do some measurements. We'll see how this goes. So when the bag is stuffed, it does protrude out a little bit because it's a little bit more rounded. So I have it stuffed now and you will see that it is all the way across about 11 inches. So you can see from here to here, depending on where you end it, it's probably, I would say between 10 and 11 inches. And then the height of the bag, just from the zipper to the bottom. So again, this is rounded. This is about seven inches when it is stuffed and it will be smaller than this if there is nothing in it. And then the handle drop is approximately, I would say between three to four inches. Hopefully you guys can see that. You guys, I feel like the depth is gonna be way too hard to do. I don't know how to measure the, <laughs> I don't know how to measure the depth of this. Um, I would say it's maybe two-ish inches from there to there, but that is not accurate at all. That's just gonna be really difficult to measure. Um, I do really love the shape of this bag. It does remind me a little bit of a dumpling. I think it's just so, so cute. I think it's a really cute spring and summer bag. I also really love the other colors they have out, but for some reason I was just really drawn to the pink. I also really, really liked the light blue. That one I think is an older season color, so it was really difficult to find. There were a few I saw on Fashion Profile, but they were pretty expensive. Black one I think is very chic and cute, but I really wanted something that was more of a fun pop of color. I will go ahead and do mod shots for you guys. Sorry, I got distracted with work before I could finish up the video, but I'm back. I wanted to close the video with just sharing my personal thoughts. I love this bag. I think it's super, super cute. It's very chic. It's super feminine. I think it's a perfect spring and summer bag. That being said, it is a bit of a higher price point than what I personally would normally spend for a bag of this size and kind of function. And I'm talking about not necessarily an everyday bag, you know, not like a tote bag or a work bag, something that, you know, you could carry a lot and be more of a workhorse type bag. This bag is not it. This is just a really, beautiful, chic, cute bag that can carry just your essentials and it would be really great for just kind of going out either like a date night or wine tasting, something where you're probably going to dress up a little bit more for and you're not going to need to carry a whole lot. So I would say, especially if you're looking at it from a price perspective for like a cost per wear basis, this bag may not be worth it for you. That being said, um, I think every once in a while, sometimes you just pick style over function. I would say for most of my bag purchases, I definitely think a lot about the use I'm going to get out of it. And just in terms of making sure I can bring the cost per wear down. But I think every once in a while, at least for me in this, in this case, I just wanted to indulge that side of myself that was like slightly more impractical. And I think every once in a while, that is fine. This bag does feel a little bit more of a splurge when I'm looking at the price. 
um, and just in terms of like how much wear I'm gonna get out of it. But, but you know, in this particular case, that was something I was totally okay with. So definitely keep that in mind when you were looking at this bag. I do think this bag can fit all your essentials and it looks super, super cute, but just in terms of versatility and in the way that you can wear it, probably not as much as maybe like a crossbody bag or something like that. But I would just say overall, my first impressions are I still love this bag. I think it's so adorable and I'm very, very excited to have this in my collection. And that is it, you guys. That is my first impressions for the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody bag in this beautiful pink color. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know if there's anything I forgot or if there are any questions or comments and I will do my best to answer. Thank you guys so much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye!